In this video, we will learn to fix Age of Empires Definitive Edition Error 0 cross C00007B. So let's begin. And there will be a link to this page that is that says the DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer. It will help you to install the latest version of DirectX. For that, just go and click on this link and you will be redirected on this page. Just go and click on the download uncheck any box if it is checked and it will click on the no thanks and continue it will download a small piece of a directx web installer that is about uh, 285 kb once the download is complete just go and double click to open it and it will ask for the permission just go and click on yes and click on i accept the agreement click next uncheck install the bing bar just go and uncheck that click on next and it will start installing the components first it will download all the latest components from the internet and literally it will start installing those components so just give it time and it says download size would be around 89.5 mb just go and click on next and the downloading of the latest element will start and meanwhile what you have to do is just go and click on another link that is in the description and it will land you to this page and here we can download the latest version of .NET framework here we have just go and click on the do, do, click on download .NET framework 4.7.1 in your case you might get a more updated version so just go and click on the download the .NET framework and it will again lead you to new page and the download will start in few moments and here you can see it is also web installer and it's about 1.4 MB so the download will be complete in few seconds I will be back when the download is finished so here is the download just go and click on that to open that and it will ask for permission just go and allow that and the process will take a small time just go and wait for it so here it is and in my case the dotnet framework 4.7.1 or the later update is already installed on your in my computer in your case you might have to click on the continue to install the latest dotnet framework and it will start downloading and installing the framework automatically so once the both the software that include the DirectX that is the latest update of DirectX and the .NET framework are installed just go and open your game by doing so hope your problem will be solved if you still have any confusion or error just comment down below I will try to answer that but before you go please subscribe like and share thank you